Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my new protective style. It's crochet braids using the invisible knot method. Um, just to be clear, this is not a full tutorial because I think there are so many great videos on YouTube showing you how to install crochet braids. I just didn't want to seem repetitive. I did, um, however, film a, a small part showing you how I install or how I do the invisible knot method because I don't think that's something that a lot of people know how to do. So um, so this is the brand of hair that I use. It's the Cuban Twist Hair. It's very, very popular amongst naturals because it has that really natural look to it. It looks just like natural hair. Um, I will tell you though that this hair is very, very dry to the touch. I mean, it's a very... I don't know how to explain it. It just feels very, very dry. It feels like if you've never moisturized your hair, like, ever. <laughs> That's how dry it is. Um, but anyway, let's get into the video. So the I used um, three packs of hair. I bought the hair in a number two and um, a number 30. And I just mixed it in because I like to add a little bit of color whenever I do protective styles since as you guys know I will not be coloring my natural hair. So the braiding pattern for this style was very simple it was just cornrows straight back. So here I am showing you how I actually install the hair. So I'm placing the crochet needle through the braid, grabbing my piece of hair, creating a loop, then I'm going to place the loop into the hook of the needle. Once I've done that, I'm going to close the latch and pull the hair through. Now I'm removing the needle. I'm finding the middle of the loop and I'm just going to pull through one piece of hair. Once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and tighten and then place the other piece of hair over the knot that way you can't see it. So now I'm just going to slow it down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm finding the middle of the loop and I'm going to pull through just one piece of hair and this is the difference between the invisible knot method and the regular method. The regular method you would have pulled through both pieces of hair. Here you're just pulling through one piece and using the second piece to cover the knot. That's what makes it invisible. It's very important when you're doing this method to use small pieces or small sections of hair. That way it doesn't appear bulky. The hair can lay flat and it looks very neat like a regular part would look. So this is what it looks like when I'm all done. Okay, you can't see any knots at all. As you can see, um, it's a whole lot of hair. So I did have to cut some of this hair off. After I cut it, I did play around a little bit with it to see what styles I could achieve. In this picture right here, you can see that I did a roll, tuck, and pin, which is very appropriate for the office. Um, so that was pretty cool that I was able to do that. So then I decided I wanted to see what the hair would look like with some curls in it. So I went ahead and grabbed some of these green flexi rods along with my paddle brush because a paddle brush is going to be your best friend with this kind of hair. It really helps to smooth the hair out. So I smoothed the hair out, wrapped it up, dipped it in water, in hot water, and these are my results. Um, now I didn't roll the flexi rods all the way up to um, my scalp because I just didn't want any hot water that close to my scalp. I just rolled it up um, two thirds of the way and I'm, pr I'm pretty pleased with the results. It didn't turn out exactly like I wanted it to, but I think it's okay. This right here is um, second day hair. Um, as you can see, the curls are a little bit more elongated and they do look a little bit smushed um, <laughs> because the fact of the matter is this hair does not hold curls very well. So I wasn't able to get more than say two days out of um, this style. But it's all right. I just rolled, did the roll, tuck, and pin on day three, and I was good to go. All right, guys. So that's pretty much what I have to show you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I will be sure to answer them. 
I hope you've really enjoyed this video and I hope this inspires you to, um, to take on crochet braids. They're really cool. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay awesome, bold, and chic. Bye.